of figuring out where people are, but they oh, don't know where Rookie is, and it's going to be a bit of a problem here for Mark. He can't get the dash away, but can he get himself off? No, I don't believe he can. That's first blood to V5. Good that play, and again, it's one, you know, something I always go back to. What does the kill lead to? Is it anything bigger? And it is something they need bigger. to get out or get this very quickly, or they're going to get crapped on. Oh, they got to be so careful right now. 3,000 HP on top of the Rift Herald, and I don't think TN or Knight can really do this here. Wayward's being kept away by Rich. They'll land a dredge line. They're going to have the hook as well. Well, to try and make it work and to go over with the Heartbreaker and top esports are being murdered right now there's nowhere for Knight to go he's gonna try and roll more but he gets CC and now Mark's in a p terrible position he has where to they have had their prowess the series against RNG they crushed the early game in pretty much every oh, game Knight, he has no flash he has no flash and nowhere to go oh the trundle pillar was huge there it just about gets the right amount of CC they have to use the subjugate as well but no, like, you've used a flash there from Rich, absolutely fair, but you haven't used any of your big ultimates. You still have the Hero's Entrance and the Gnarls. But there's a cost, right? Rich roams down to make that play work. He's going to lose out on the Cess advantage he had. He's going to lose a plate. So, as much as I like the play, I like when top laners have the opportunity to roam down and look for a, a mid gank. Oh, oh no. Tien, he doesn't have an ultimate, and he's probably going to go down. We talk about... LPL saw. Oh, oh. I'm stop myself here. Well, more going to be coming in. Both are in a little bit of a trouble. Oh, he beautiful, flashes beautiful. right on top of the predicted entrance, and that's going to be uh, a nice. But it's a minute and a half until that herald. It is going to be two minutes until the dragon, and that is something that is concerning. V5, you know, back front to back team fights as well. They've got the engage with the Nar and the Galio. They have ways of making these work for themselves. And with the way the map is kind of shaping up right now, it does feel like V saying, Look, I'm a, I'm a Nautilus. I've got plenty of tank stats there. Rich trying to build up the Mega Nar. There's a TP fan on that ward. TP's coming in, but it's a stolen straight away. V5 now on Soul Point. They get in with the hero's entrance as well. They get that little bit of magic damage shield. They try to go in with the quickness. Mark not quite taking the damage. Has to flash away the Moonlight Vision goes completely wide, but the resets are coming in. The Viego is strong, the mobility he has. Honestly, this feels like it's V5's game. And Top Esports try and cheat, right? I said they should back out a river and then they should go for the TP flank instead. Oh, they're still looking for more though. Ah, PV God goes a little bit too far forward, but does have the stasis to keep himself alive. There's the slicing Melstorm, but it's not really doing much. These massive health bars, they have a realm more, but can they get people out? They can only get one and there's no tower there for Knight. He's not got flash either and they're going to keep pushing Pushing forward, they're gonna keep getting the advantages, keep getting the kills. Top esports are routed. Yeah, crushed in that fight. A 4,000 gold lead, 4v5, three dragons in hand, and they're looking to push and continue that momentum. Top Esports made some criminal errors there and are getting punished for it. Oh. Rich looking. Yeah, he still has the ultimate and there's no flash, no ult. Oh my god, it's a disaster for Top Esports. That's putting it lightly. Yeah, it's going from bad to worse. Honestly, it feels like, you know, they've doing a fantastic job using this pressure from Rich. Moving Photic over when the wave. Five and yes, it's a cloud soul. It's not the most impactful in the game ever. However, it does lead to a much earlier Elder Dragon. Yeah. That call, as I said, I don't think cloud soul is super impactful for V5. Uh, the movement speed is nice, but it's not exactly a game you changer. You take whatever stats you can. Yeah, uh, and, and ultimately it's objective that you can take. So top esports, you can't just be accepting that you're going to take this fight lying down because you're just going to lose. They will get on top of Wayward. He pops the slicing Melstrom, but it did literally. Just highlight no. this, this team. They do lose mid tier one. We'll see if top esports, yeah, they should just be able to get out of this situation. Oh so. dear, nice. I'm sorry, sweet prince, you shall be falling down and Shall not be coming back here. He will try and maybe just run away. He's very tanky. There's not a huge oh. amount of CC, but there is enough to stop him from getting that. And it took a while as the there was arm advantage he has. But right now, V5, they know the next objective is the dragon. Oh, they're being contested. Oh, they are going to be contested here. We are seeing double stopwatch. Double stopwatch. But guess what? Nara doesn't have one. So despite the side of V5's jungler and support having the idea here, they are keeping themselves alive as the Trying to move over, but it's getting so low. Look at Rookie. They're going to see if they can go for it. But there's the Elder uh -oh. Drake already taken. And now V5 can look for the fight. The Moonlight Vigil goes completely wide. But they can maybe make it work right here, right now. They get the Slicing Melstorm, but it's just not going to do anything whatsoever. All these kills getting taken over. Eventually, one will fall. But the rest have already gone back to the gray screen. It is five for one. V5 decimate top esports in game one if the gold difference wasn't enough if the soul as well wasn't enough then absolutely the elder was and honestly i'm a little bit confused why top esports were so slow approaching should have used the realm of Asia to get the vision should have tried to get sights on the dragon sooner but ultimately it's a rough 
game for Top Esports and V5 come out from a dominant game one. Yeah, this was just straight up V5 from get minute one all the way up now to just under minute 30. Absolute domination. And honestly, this is the scary V5 we talked about.